What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Katie and today I have my March week one budget check-in for you. So we're going to go through all of my expenses and spending for the first week of March. So this will go from March 1st to March 7th. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we did have a Costco trip on March, March 1st and we bought a few things for the pets. So we bought some dog food and some dog treats. So that was $65.57 out of our pet fund. So if you're new here, we do have three dogs and two cats. So we spend a lot of money on pets around here. We also bought food for ourselves and we bought some like household cleaning product type of things. So that's all lumped into our grocery fund. So that was $461.82 again from Costco. We also bought some pool chair float things. Um, we bought one last year from Costco, but I have three boys and they fought over it a lot. So we bought two more while we were there because Costco always has their stuff out super early. Like their Christmas stuff out is out like way before Halloween and their summer stuff apparently is out in like February and March. So I went ahead and got those while they were there because I'm sure as it gets closer to summer, they will no longer have those. So that was $43.98. And I did take that out of our family fund um, I didn't really know where else to take it from. So it'll be used, you know, for like family fun type of stuff. So I figured that fit. And then also on the first, I paid for our yearly termite protection from a pest ban. So that was $384. And I took that out of our house bills fund. Also on the first, I did buy a standardized test. So I ordered this through an online website. Um, they do standardized, test standardized testing for homeschoolers. And in my state, um, you do have to start standardized testing in third grade if you are homeschooling. And then you have to do it at least once every three years after that. So you can do it more often if you like, um, but you have to do it at least once every three years. So this will be Liam's first time taking a standardized test since he is in third grade. So I went ahead and ordered that because his school does give them, and if you're confused, because I just said we homeschool and his school, but um, we do a hybrid program. So we're technically registered through our state as homeschoolers, but we do a hybrid program that's set up for homeschoolers. And they give the kids a week off in April for spring break. And then they give them another week off in April to do standardized testing. So in April, we will be doing a standardized testing, but you have to order these tests a little bit early just to make sure they get here in time. So that was $95.20 and I took that out of our school fund. And also on the first, we had a lot of purchases on the first and we usually do. So also on the first, we had um, my boys ninja class come out. So we pay this every month, it's $88. This is also for my son, Liam. He's really loved this class and it's the first thing that he's ever done um, like outside of school that he's enjoyed. So I'm happy to pay that for him. So that comes out of my boys spending. Also on the first, um, my husband ordered some magic cards because his birthday um, is March 5th and he didn't really know what he wanted. So he said he would just like money to spend on magic cards. So he ordered some magic cards. So that was $109.75 from Star City Games. And since that was for his birthday, I took it out of the holiday and gift fund. So now we're going to the second. So on the second, I did stop at Publix for cat food. And I spent $23.02 that came out of our pet fund. And that was the only thing that I bought at Publix that day. I'm so proud because usually I'll go into the store for like something for the pets, but then I'll end up buying food for us too. And that's how we end up going over on our grocery budget. So I did not do that this day. So I was very proud. Also in the second, I ordered a few gifts from Mark from Amazon. So these were some other things that he needed for his magic card, like deck protectors, like card sleeve protectors. And then I ordered him a couple of shirts as well. So that was $77.70. And that was out of our holiday gift fund also. And then I ordered him a cake from this bakery near us that he absolutely loves. Um, I think he tried this cake for the first time at work, like somebody brought it and he has loved this cake ever since. So we got him this cake for his birthday. It's like a raspberry white chocolate cake and it is delicious. So that was $48.49 and that came out of our holiday and gift fund. And we did the, buy this early. So his birthday is not to the fifth, but we bought this early and had it early. So that was nice. We tend to do stuff early sometimes, but that's okay. On the 3rd of March, I did pay for the vehicle registration for Mark since it's due on his birthday. So the car that I drive is actually in his name. 
And I did the admissions on it last month and I paid for the registration this month. So that was $24 and 95 cents. And I took that out of our car maintenance and insurance fund. Also on the third, I paid for art class for my oldest son, Logan. So that's $50 and I just Venmo the teacher who does it and it's done through his school. So I just take it out of their school fund. On the fourth, I got gas for the car that I drive and it was $25 and it was exactly $25 because something was not working with their pumps and I had to go inside and pay and I was kind of in a hurry. So I didn't know how much to put in. So I just kind of lowballed it and did 25. So that came out of our car gas fund. Also on the fourth, I paid for swim lessons for Owen. So he is currently in swim lessons, but the ones that he is in right now are about to be finished. So I have to pay for like a new round of swimming lessons. So that was $81.54. And I did take that out of my boys spending fund. And then on the fourth, so this was actually the day before Mark's birthday, but we did go out to eat this day because it was a Saturday and he didn't want to go out on Sunday and eat because there was an Indy car race on TV that he wanted to watch. So he said he would rather go out to eat on a Saturday. So we went out for his birthday. That was $69.45 from a restaurant called a Burger 21. I don't know if you guys have that everywhere. Um, I know there's several of them in Georgia, but it's really good. They have amazing shakes. They use like Ghirardelli chocolate and then their French fries are really good too. The burgers are also good, but I'm not a huge like burger person. I did get a burger this day and it was delicious, but Mark could eat burgers like all the time. I'm good with like a couple a year. So it was good though. That came out of our holiday and gift fund. Also, I didn't take it out of our eating out fund just because we always do like a birthday dinner for each person. Like they can plan um, where they want to go. And then we just pay for that out of our like holiday spending. Um, if a time ever comes when, when it's someone's birthday and we like run out of money for holiday spending, then I would take it out of eating out. But I just took it out of our holiday gift for this time. And that's probably what I'll try to do going forward since it's like an extra like special dinner. And then also on the fourth, I paid the boys for their chores from the previous week. So they got $13 this week and that came out of my boys spending fund as well. And then on the fifth, this would have been a no spend day if it wasn't for this Canva subscription. So this is what I use to make like thumbnails and stuff for my YouTube channel. So that's $12.99 and that comes out of my spending since I'm the only one who really uses it. And um, that was the only purchase we had on the fifth. So that was Mark's birthday and we stayed home. On the sixth, we had a no spend day. So this was our only no spend day of the week, but it's still nice to have one. On the seventh, I went to um, PetSmart and I bought a new litter box for the cats. Also some litter liners and then some like Arm & Hammer carpet cleaner because first of all, the cats make such a mess with their litter because we have a litter box that's like open. It doesn't have a lid on it. So they're always like flinging litter everywhere. So we bought a new litter box that has like a cover on it so they can't get litter everywhere. And then somehow the cats got into our closet. Now I've never had cats that don't pee in the litter box before. And our cats have never done this before either. So I don't know if they were in our closet and like we shut the door and didn't know they were in there or if one of the kids did, but the cats peed in our closet and they peed on some like backpacks that Mark had. So we just threw out the backpacks, but they got some on the carpet as well. So I had to like clean the carpet with that Arm & Hammer carpet cleaner because cat pee stinks. <laughs> so I'm not sure like what happened with that, but I'm just being very diligent about closing our closet door and making sure that they do not go in there now because I feel like if they smell that, like whatever's lingering, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I tried to clean it up really well, but I'm sure they can still smell it. I think that they'll think it's okay to go in there and it's not. So they have never done that before. So I'm guessing that they accidentally got shut in the closet and we didn't realize it. But um, yeah, we spent some money on some cat things. My other thinking was maybe their litter box that they had was too small for them. So that's why we bought a new litter box as well, just to have like a nice big roomy one. So hopefully they you know, will be happy to use that. I don't know what happened there, but it was it was gross. All right, moving on to our totals for the week. So we are in week one of March. So for groceries, we started with $1,501. So we added 15 from this month and we had a $1 rollover from last month. So that's why that's an odd number, but we spent 462 this week. So we still have $1,039 remaining. For our pet fund, we started with 442 and we spent 150 the first week. So we have 292 left for the rest of the month. 
And I'm optimistic that that should be fine because we already bought dog food and we still have a good amount of dog treats left as well. So we'll probably have to buy some more cat food and maybe some cat litter, but that's less expensive than all the dog stuff. So hopefully, hopefully that will be fine. And this week was kind of higher because of the new litter box and stuff. For my spending, I started with $428. I spent $13 on that Canva subscription, so I have $415 left for the month. So Mark is starting with $885. He did not spend anything on week one, so he has $885 left. For my boys' spending, we started with $339. I spent $183 on the first week, and they have $156 left. For miscellaneous, we started with 108 and we didn't spend anything, so we still have 108 left. For house bills, we started with 1,258. We spent 384 the first week and we have 874 left. For car gas, we started with 353. We only spent 25, so we still have 328 left, so that's amazing. For car insurance and maintenance, we started with $1,010. We spent 25 and we have 985 left. For school, we started with $4,629. We spent $146, and we have $4,483 left. For holiday and gift, we started with $447. We spent $307, and I have $140 left. So we already finished with all of Mark's birthday stuff, but I do have my dad's birthday and my sister's birthday in March. And my siblings and I, we don't really get gifts for each other anymore for birthdays, but my sister will sometimes come up and I'll take her to lunch. So I think that's what we're planning on doing. And she said I didn't have to pay for her, but I'm going to since it's for her birthday. And then for my dad, I never really know what to get him. I usually end up sending him like a gift card to a restaurant. And I don't know, he probably thinks I suck at gift giving, but I don't know what to buy him. So um, that should be enough for those two things though. And that should be everything that we have to buy for March as far as like gifts go. For eating out, we spent, or we started with 310. We didn't spend anything. And we technically did eat out, but again, I took it out of our holiday and gift fund. So we have 310 left still. For house things, we started with 470. I didn't spend anything, so we still have 470 left. And then for family, we started with 419. I spent 44 and we have 375 left. So we're looking really good in all of our funds right now for the first week. I mean, we should be looking good still for the first week, but you know, sometimes the first week is very expensive for us. So I feel pretty good about where we're sitting right now. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.